Hello, Vinyl community. This is Randy. In celebration of my one year anniversary in the Vinyl community today, I am going to show you some Grateful Dead box sets. I have about 15 of these box sets, and so, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you each one of them. Uh, before I start showing you those, I figured I might show you a little bit of other uh, Grateful Dead paraphernalia that I have. So, I really started getting into the Grateful Dead and 1985 or 86 when I got this book, the official book of the great, uh, the official book of the Deadheads. Uh, I really hadn't heard too much for, uh, from them before. I didn't have any friends really who were into the Grateful Dead, but this is a uh, fantastic book because it's not a, like a linear story at all. You can open it up to any page and just, uh, you know, read it from there. It's, it's divided into, uh, Introduction, first set, intermission, second set. So, <clears throat> obviously this book is very well worn. I'd like to get another one. If I ever find one, I would get another one. So it was about 85 or 86. I uh, moved to California in 91 and found some uh, periodicals there, some magazines. It turned out there were actually about three or four magazines that came out every month or possibly quarterly that documented all the Grateful Dead shows. It had all their set lists and uh, reviews of the shows and then usually in the back of those magazines there would be classified ads so that uh, people who wanted to trade tapes could get in touch with other people who were tapers and uh, trade lists and, and trade tapes. So never any money involved, just simply, simply uh, the trading the tapes. So, um, the first one is called The Golden Road. This one I think started, well this is the very first issue, so 1984 for this one. This one is edited by Blair Jackson who was one of the best um, Grateful Dead uh, documentarians. Uh, there's another one called Unbroken Chain. All these are, are very much alike. They have, you know, reviews of the shows. And then, uh, usually back here, well, somewhere in there, they will have some set lists to show what they played at each show. So, Unbroken Chain, Debris Diamond, Blues was another one of these magazines that Grateful Dead had a song called Dupree's Diamond News. Uh, Dupree's Diamond Blues, the name of this magazine is Dupree's Diamond News. Relics is uh, still around today. Uh, I think it started out as a Grateful Dead tape trader magazine. And uh, there were even some <coughs> Grateful Dead comics. I think these came out in uh, 93 or so, something like that. I got this uh, Grateful Dead scrapbook about probably 10 years or so ago. This is a very cool uh, book. It opens up like this and has a DVD and a CD in it. And then uh, the actual scrapbook itself is very cool. It looks like this, not much on the front of it. But on the inside, there's just all kinds of memorabilia like... Uh, well, for instance, here's a ticket for a show that they stuck in this envelope right here in the front. So uh, every page that you turn has stuff like this that folds out, and then there's stuff in here. So it really is a scrapbook, and it's really cool. Uh, the text is written by Ben Fong Torres, the uh, uh, writer for uh, Rolling Stone. So I'm going to pause right now and uh, switch locations, and I'm just going to show you some uh, Grateful Dead box sets. I think they're really cool, and I uh, think you might enjoy seeing them, so um, stay tuned. And the first box set I have to show you is one that came out in 1999. This is the first one that came out <clears throat> after the death of Jerry Garcia, so this was a compilation of uh, live uh, takes and studio outtakes from throughout their career. It came with this book, which is sort of a history of the band, and then it came with this uh, other book, which this tells about each song here, and then there are five CDs in here, so each one of them looks kind of like that, except different colors. In 2001, they released this box set called The Golden Road, 1965 to 73. Uh, the Golden Road, that was the name of a song on their first album, Golden Road Down with the Devotion. This compiles all of their albums from 65 to 73, so it actually uh, included this one compilation, which 
had really, not really been released before than the first one, the second and third one. Working Man's Dead, American Beauty, uh, Grateful Dead, History of the Grateful Dead, and Europe 72. Uh, yeah. So that was in 2001 that came with this book um, that uh, tells a lot about what's uh, going on with the band and just pictures and things like that. So. In 2004, they released another very similar box set called Beyond Description. This compiles the albums from 73 to 89, so uh, this came with two smaller books instead of <clears throat> the uh, larger one that the first box set came with. So this one compiles um, Reckoning acoustic live set, <clears throat> dead set, and electric live set. Those two were both recorded in 1980. In the Dark and Built to Last, their very last album, we also get in here. Wake of the Flood from the Mars Hotel, <clears throat> Blues for Allah, Terrapin Station, Shakedown Street, and <clears throat> Go to Heaven. So, uh, in 2009, they came out with this vinyl box set. You have probably seen this on the wall behind Mazzy in a lot of his videos. This is just a vinyl box set. This com compiles the first five albums. So, uh, American Beauty uh, comes, with a, comes with this uh, booklet. It's very nice. This also came with a sorry. Here's the front of it. Also came with a uh, seven-inch single of Dark Star. Stuff like that in there. So yeah, American Beauty, Working Man, Grateful Dead, stereo version of that one. <clears throat> Oxymoxella. Pretty sure this is the '71 mix. Anthem of the Sun, and then there's the actual box, so, uh, yeah, so 2009 for that one. I am going to uh, be back with some more boxes. In 2008, the Grateful Dead <clears throat> released this box set called Winterland 77, 1977. These were three shows in a row from Winterland, recorded in, sorry, I meant to say 1973, 2008, and Winterland in uh, uh, 1973, in November of 1973. So this box looks like this, and uh, just kind of like that on the back. These box sets come with uh, usually some cool stuff in it, like this is a replica of the newsletters that they used to send out in the um, 70s to their fan club members, and it uh, came with a book here telling, you know, about the concerts and stuff like that, and then there were three CDs in here, so they all, uh, each, uh, sorry, there are th three separate shows in here, so each show is uh, three CDs, so that one looks like that, one looks like that. November 9 of 73 and November 11 of 73 looks like this so yeah really cool box sets and then this actually I, got, I think I, I got a bonus disc probably because I was one of the first people to order it or maybe everybody got this bonus disc I'm not really sure about that in 2009 they released Winterland 77. These shows were recorded in June of 77. So, oh, yeah, this uh, came with a button. There, 73 came with that button. <clears throat> 77 came with that button. Uh, just this little sort of a postcard type thing. Stuck in there. Here's what this box looks like. Oh, very nice looking and what it looks like on the inside. So, 
June 7, 1977. You can see that each one of the <clears throat> each one of the shows is really packaged beautifully here. So really nice to look at. Yeah, June 9, 77. There's the band. There's the booklet. They came with this one. In June of 77, they were really, uh, they had just finished that May uh, tour from the East Coast, and they were really on, on top. So, yeah, and this came with a bonus disc, too. In 2009, uh, they released a compilation called, <clears throat> uh, well, this is Hampton, uh, 79. These are some shows, that, uh, sorry, Hampton 89. These are some shows in Hampton, uh, Rhodes, Virginia, that were advertised. Uh, the band was advertised as formerly the Warlocks. This is supposed to be like a uh, cigar humidor, I think. This is a wooden box you know, so from Virginia. So they had some really cool stuff in this one here is a picture of the venue and you can see that it's advertised as the Warlocks there. Here's a postcard of what the venue looked like. They stuck in a couple of replica tickets. Or, I mean, these may be leftover real tickets. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, when you used to go to, a, when you used to mail order Grateful Dead tickets, they would usually stick in something like this which would have information for you about the place. Places where you could stay, getting there, camping areas, stuff like that. Let me stuck that in there. It's just a sample of that. Uh, here was like a newspaper clipping. And, uh, as you can see, these box sets are really very involved. I mean, they just give you so much stuff. It's really... I think it's really nice. All that reading on the back of there. So instead of a booklet, you got these uh, sort of a uh, list of postcards. And then each one of the uh, shows came in a, uh, well, there's only two shows in this box. So it's about three CDs for each show. As you can see, that those all look pretty much alike. So, uh, yeah. Going to pause again. In 1978, the Grateful Dead played in front of the pyramids in Egypt. And in 2008, they released this. This is not really a box set. This is just uh, one of the shows. Well, it's kind of like a box set. It has like a DVD in it and stuff. But uh, the really cool thing about this one is really sort of like the packaging. You can see it's very cool. But it, really the coolest part of it is it opens up to this. I think you can see that there. It opens up. So you have the pyramid there and then... Uh, also, while they were playing there, the moon was in full eclipse, so uh, it was good timing. So, anyway, that's not really a box set, that's just sort of the uh, one off thing when they played at the pyramids. So, pausing again. Sorry, I skipped one here. In 2005, The Grateful Dead released the Fillmore West 1969 box set. This is one that I have actually shown in previous videos. This is, uh, these are shows from the Fillmore West in. Uh, February and March of 1969, from these four shows, uh, the songs that were on Live Dead were taken from this show. So, uh, this is just, really, this is the best box that I have. This is just totally awesome. It comes with this book here, which tells all about the shows, um, pictures and stuff like that in there. Um. And then there is one of these, uh, I guess you call it a slip case, or I'm not really sure what you would call it, for each one of the shows, each one of them. Uh, I think each one of them has three CDs, so there's just pictures like that. They come in different colors. Uh, this also came with a bonus disc, which just simply came in this white envelope. This bonus disc is fantastic. Uh, caution. <clears throat> uh, China Cat, Sunflower, New, new Potato, Caboose. Fantastic. Uh, February 28th. So, yeah, these all open up like that. There's Phil and Mickey. And then February 27th. So, yeah, just two for this one, it looks like. So, track listing. Yeah, that's, that, 
probably is really my favorite. Box set in 2011, The Grateful Dead released their biggest box set to date up till then. This is the Europe 72 tour. So when you ordered it, you got to get uh, one of these stickers, and you could get whatever uh, name you wanted on there. I got my real name. A lot of people got things like uh, you know August West or Bonnie Lee. You know names of Grateful Dead characters, you know, Casey Jones. Uh, so, anyway, this is really cool. The sticker here is it's supposed to look like that because you have to be able to open it. So, yeah, so this opens up like this. Opens up. And then it would sit like this. So, yeah, this is a really cool box. This came with, um, well, this is kind of like the... Uh, European tour program. It's a really big program, but I think this is something that was sold there at the uh, shows. Possibly something like that. I'm not positive about that. Uh, then it also came with this book. So, yeah, so there are 22 shows in this box. There are 72 CDs. That's a lot. That's a lot to listen to. Uh, here's what this looks like, and then pictures and stuff on the inside from the tour over there so yeah Europe 72 was really one of the Grateful Dead's biggest tours they took their whole family their whole entourage and I think they looked at it almost as like a uh, vacation yeah so each one of these I'm not going to pull all of these out there are 22 of these shows but each one of them comes with a uh, well the story of the show Inside there, pictures, but each one of them has uh, its own cover like that. So you can see uh, that a lot of work went into creating this box set. Yeah, so 22 shows. That's a lot of Grateful Dead. I'm going to, uh, well, let's see. I was just wondering if I could turn this around so you can see the whole. So there's like stickers on the front of it. On the back of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Really cool. Really cool box set. So, yeah. Gonna pause again. In 2012, the Grateful Dead released this box set called Spring 1990. Spring 1990. This was, some people say, this was the last great Grateful Dead tour. So, this is uh, six shows from that spring 1992 at this point the boxes just start to have so much stuff in them it really uh it's hard to go into too much detail but each one of the shows comes in a uh, slipcase like this each one of them has their own i'm only going to show you three of them this box also came with this booklet here which is just got some beautiful photographs in it so, yeah, these boxes just got to be uh, just even just more and more stuff of these. But it's paraphernalia in here. Uh, you know, backstage pass replica. More backstage passes here. Just cool stuff to look at. Here's a replica ticket. Here is a taper ticket. The Grateful Dead sold taper tickets. They had special sections uh, set aside for the tapers so that their microphone stands getting, didn't get in the way for other people who were trying to see the show. More tickets here. Uh, so many other more backstage passes. Some stuff there like that. <clears throat> we're still talking about the same box here. It also came with this hardback book. Information and photos in there, and then uh, came with this poster. Cool looking poster there, um, and then just this envelope full of stuff. And these are those things I was uh, talking about. That if you mail order tickets, they would enclose one of these, and this would just tell you stuff about the uh, place there and then it also included this uh, nice 
glossy picture of the band. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pause again just for a second. In 2013, the Grateful Dead released two box sets. This one, I've already taken the CDs out of here, uh, is May of 77. This is five shows from their uh, spring tour in 1977, which was one of their most famous tours. This uh, box just opens up like this, and you slide in there like this. So each one of these shows comes in its own case, and they're all just, uh, yeah, really, really beautiful uh, artwork with these. So each one of them has like these geometric shapes or something on the front of it so yeah so five shows so basically three three cds uh in each one of those and uh yeah it did come with a uh, booklet also which was inside here so yeah may of 77 also in uh 2013 they released Venita, oregon 827.72 which was the Ken Kesey Creamery benefit. So this is one of the most famous shows. There was a movie that was released also. This is a uh, DVD and a CV CD. You could, you could have gotten it on Blu-ray. I got the DVD, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, this just comes with a booklet here which tells all about this show, which was on a really hot day in August of 72. And then uh, just the book here that includes the... Um, CDs and things, so very nice artwork inside there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was it for 2013. Then in 2014, they released uh, Spring 1990 Part 2, the other one. So, this is more shows from that famous. Uh, spring of 1990 tour, so I am going to uh, pause here just a minute. Okay, yeah, so in 2014, they released uh, Spring 1990 Part 2. So this box, these these box sets are all numbered, and then this coin came uh, in there. So here's what this coin looks like, and then it has the uh, number on the back of it. This is number 7,116 out of 9,000 of these box sets that were created. That goes in there, and then this just, uh, there's this little thing here which fits on top of that, so that goes in there. It also came with these <clears throat> dead dice, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> I uh, have never used those. And then, so there's a uh, Six. I think there's six shows in here, so each one of these has a case like this with some art on it. It's all uh, different art <clears throat> on each one of them. And then this book, uh, this also came with this um, booklet that goes in here. So Spring 1990, the other one. And it says cool stuff like that. So. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff to see in all these box sets. So, going to uh, pause again. Still in Spring 1992. Uh, uh, I forgot to show you this whole part that came uh, with this box set. So, there's like this uh, envelope which uh, folds out like this. And then, there's some artwork inside there too. So, uh, yeah, inside that, we got all these art prints so yeah if I could just get, yeah things like that so yeah certainly uh suitable for framing if that's something you chose to do so okay yeah going to uh pause again in 2015 the grateful dead celebrated their 50 year anniversary by releasing this box set called 30 trips around the sun this box set contains one show from each year from 1965 until 1995. So there are uh, 80 CDs in this box. This is a pretty heavy box. This didn't come up with a whole lot of 
doodads and stuff like this. This mostly just came with a box. It did come with a seven inch single. This is a seven inch single of the very last song, The Grateful Dead Every Sang, which was Box of Rain at, uh, in Chicago in 1995. And the other side of it is their very first demo. Uh, this is um, <clears throat> The Emergency Crew is what they were called. And the song is Caution. Do not stop on tracks. So <clears throat> that's a cool memento. Other than that, there's really nothing in here other than uh, 30 shows. So each show comes in one of these uh, CD boxes. Most of them are three CDs. Some of them are two and one or two of them, maybe four CDs. I'm not sure about that. So, uh, one show from each year. And all of these look pretty much like this, except that the color is different. So, there are 30 shows in here, 30 different colors. So, 30 trips around the sun. 2015. So, pausing again. In 2015, The Grateful Dead released this box set with five shows from... July of 1978. So these shows were all in the Midwest. So they just came packaged like that. This came with this slightly smaller booklet. Lots of good pictures as, as always, things like that. So there were five shows. Uh, two of them were at Red Rocks. Uh, these are both Red Rock shows. And then uh, here is Arrowhead Stadium. This is one of the rare shows where the Grateful Dead only played one set. They actually opened for Willie Nelson at this show. This is July 4th. Uh, July 5th in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And this is July 3rd at the St. Paul Civic Center. So St. Paul, Minnesota. In uh, 2017, the Grateful Dead released... This box set, which is the Pacific Northwest box set, this consists of six shows, two shows from Portland, two from Seattle, and two from Vancouver, uh, Vancouver, BC, uh, Canada. So uh, this is a, uh, as far as the artwork goes, this is probably the most beautiful uh, box that they produce. This has really nice artwork. So uh, it comes with this book that lifts out. Like that, and then came with this small little wooden box. It was a limited edition, tells you the number of your box there. So then each one of the shows um, came with this. Each one comes in a separate uh, CD holder there. So yeah. So uh, then in twenty. 18, they released <clears throat> RFK box set. So these are two shows from uh, Rod of Kenny Stadium in, on July 12th and 13th of 1989. I think Happy Hippie the Vinyl Guy might have been at these shows. So very cool looking box. So there's only two shows uh, here for this one. So this came with a booklet two and then the two shows. So these were kind of cool. They have Lincoln and Washington on the front of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause again here. In 2017, the Grateful Dead released another box set of the May 77 shows. In this one, they finally got the tapes back for uh, Cornell for the Barton Hall show, 5877. So, this box really focused on that a lot. I've shown this box before, I showed this in Namens. Uh, contest where we were supposed to show artwork in uh, <clears throat> because the art on this is really beautiful so you can see this box is a little bit uh, complicated here this box actually came with uh, an entire book Cornell 77 this tells all about that show at Barton Hall so that comes in the book and then there are four shows and each one of them come in these really uh, they're really pretty fragile uh, holders for them so uh, but they really are beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that's what they, they all look sort of the same. Well, sort of the same, but different. So, they got the sun coming up there. So, some different artwork around it. So, get shown the light. So, I'm going to pause one more time. 
Okay, so I was just going to show you a couple more things to sort of wrap up this whole uh, Grateful Dead celebration when I used to collect tapes. Um, I had hundreds of these tapes, so these were just some J cards that I got in the parking lot. So got some other ones that just have sort of like the dancing bears around the edge. I've gotten rid of most of these uh, tapes now. I have some uh, VHS tapes of the Grateful Dead, so downhill from here. This is at uh, Alpine Valley, so I never went to Alpine Valley, but my understanding is that it's like on a hill, and the Grateful Dead were playing at the bottom of the hill, so downhill from here. Here is a Blu-ray of the Grateful Dead movie. Uh, if you have any interest in the Grateful Dead at all and want to get introduced to them, I would highly recommend the Grateful Dead movie. It really just tells a lot about them. I had a VHS tape of the Grateful Dead movie before I got the um, Blu-ray of it. And then here is a really cool, is this a uh, DVD, I guess, of uh, the closing of Winterland. So this is a fantastic 1978 Winterland closed. New Year's Eve was the last show, December 31st, 1978. The Blues Brothers opened. So, uh, yeah, legendary show. I have just a few uh, photography books of the dead. So here is that. Barton Hall, the, that last box set that I showed you at Cornell, there, here is a separate whole book of photographs that a guy published about that show, so a book of photography there. <clears throat> I have this book of photography called um, Live Dead. These are all photos by Bob Minkin, so, you know, these really are just, it's just a book of photographs, but they're really, they're really beautiful, and I, I like looking at them. So, uh, and then I have this other one called Eyes of the World. So, yeah, this is a really big uh, book here. So, uh, oh yeah, I got this one uh, autographed by the guys who printed it. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of pictures of the band in there. So, that's my uh, Grateful Dead. Celebration, celebrating uh, one year in the vinyl community. So uh, uh, that's it. Let me know what you think about these box sets. Do you have any of them, or uh, did you want to get any of them, or are you interested in them at all? I, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of music, a lot of a lot of box sets, a lot of stuff to look at. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I like them. So uh, thanks very much for watching.